The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. When you Hello, hello, hello again. The candy, the candy, the candy. Mark, that's the thing. Last week we had a little bit of a small cup. But what I said was that we will not be playing any map, any wrangle. We will be playing Miramar, the candy, and Sanok. And this actually, the candy and Sanok actually works out perfectly for the smaller lobby. Which is going to be tough because even though there's only like 15, 16 teams in here, three is still getting relegated. I'm not changing that number. So, uh, <laughs> that's going to be tough, boy. Boy! <laughs> Guys, please remember to go on my page. I know you are on it now, but please just follow Bronze Bull Gaming as well. Um, I'd really appreciate that. Like this, like the page and follow. I'd really, really appreciate that. That's one of the ways you can support us. Yep, no pressure, Mark. Lots of room for error. <laughs> and the worst is the team, the team that was first is the one that's also out now. So now there's even more pressure. No team running away with this. So let's see. Hello, Tariq. Snowy the candy. Snowy, 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 snowy. It's like a cigarette. I'm back on Streamlabs for this for this game. Um, I'm glad it sounds a bit better. The previous game the sound lagged a bit. I like Streamlabs sometimes because I can put my donation links on there as well. But the other one is just a quick tap and, and run and I like to put them on. Not always, I don't always have them on. But sometimes I like to have them on. Just in case, you never know. We are about 11 minutes away from a start. <laughs> yeah, and then there's two more weeks left after tomorrow. So that's four more games per team. And then we will do all our calculation. And then we will have a break for about two weeks before season two starts. Whoever then new people that want to join are going to join into lobby C. Fill up lobby B and then lobby C. I'm adding no one into lobby A. I don't care if there's 14 teams left. I might promote one more then. But... If it's 15 teams in Lobby A, that's it, bro. 15 teams in Lobby A. I don't care. I'm not making it bigger. That's the teams that's Lobby A. That's still the elite. That's where people want to be. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah. Cell phone. 
earphones that aren't working well anymore and a little 100 buck bluetooth speaker key <laughs> but I love it I love it I love doing this hell if I didn't love it I wouldn't turn it into a business yeah man they did really really well the patient game they just wait by it at the time came in slowly and did what was necessary. I liked the, the end where they sent their two healthy players back away from the danger. To see if maybe they can go in the blue zone and just heal themselves up and hope the other guys just kill each other and die in their own blue zone. I like that. That was that was quite well done. Thank you for the share, Francois. And I must leave the stream or the the page work to follow and to like. Quite it. Well, I am guys. Remember, I am trying to get to a thousand likes and follows by the end of this league. I'm in about three hundred ish now. So I'd really appreciate it if you can just send this link to all your friends to come and like and follow, please. I also recently started updating my own content, my own gameplay, which is very, very funny to watch, um, the way I play. But yeah, man, and I'm looking at, um, as the business grows, going on Twitch, YouTube, getting some some um, startup streamers under me to, to go on those pages for us, try and get their name out. We'll see. I'm also, I'll also do some of it myself. It's just difficult, man, because you get somebody maybe to do it um, under you. Uh, that's why my only fear is I get a streamer to do it under me and then after f a few months they get even bigger than me. Which I, I'm joking, I don't really mind that. If somebody gets big and does their own thing, that, that, that's what this is all about. But um, yeah. But they will be employees then, so we will see. I still need to work a lot of stuff out. But I think it's going to work out. I have faith. Because you got to have faith, faith, faith. You've got to have faith, faith, faith. Seven minutes to go. There are a bunch of ways you guys can support us. As I said uh, a few times already, like, follow the page itself. I'm trying to get to 1,000 likes and follows by the end of this league in two weeks' time, three weeks' time. And then also, if you are so inclined to donate to Bronze Pool Gaming, be too high level too, there is a PayPal link and a Streamlabs link in the description where you guys can give us a donation or a tip if you are so inclined. It would really, really help us out a lot if you guys could do that. But it's not really about that. I don't care if you if you can't do it. That's fine by me. Please just like and follow the stream. That's the most important. Get our name out there. Share the stream with everyone you know. As many Get as many eyes on us and what we do here. We're starting something small, but we're going to make it big. And you guys that support us are all part of this. So please, I would appreciate that. Anadia Engelbrecht, why the angry facey? What did I do wrong? I'm sorry. Someone is very mad. I'm sorry. Mark, just go in the room please and say, Groton must kick the people in slot one. 
If they come in slot one again, please. Just, just ask him. Um, the people that stay in slot one that aren't supposed to be there. Please mark if you can, buddy. I'd really appreciate it. I can't go in there now. Not the TTB guys, they're moving to their spots. There's one nuclear rebel guy. Oh, he's going into that slot now, it seems. <laughs> is nie, jy is kwaad vir my om een of ander rede, ek het iets verskrikkelijk gedoen. Ek is jammer. O, oh, you must ask, Mark, or oh, you must ask Tyson Fury in the room for nuclear rebels if, um, if Halston is going into their slot, because he's part of the nuclear rebels. So I don't know exactly where he needs to go, um, but he is in slot one and he can't be there. Ah, oh, there we go. He took the slot. Never mind. Tyson gave up his slot. No, Tyson gave up his slot. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate, buddy. Thanks, Abuket. Thanks for sharing the stream, buddy. So, yeah, um, I will send you guys details later in the week. Just please remind me because I am going to forget. I'm really busy. Um, we do plan on having a, a, a cash giveaway room. It's going to be 100 bucks per squad. Not per person, per squad. 100 bucks, we're trying to get 25 squads in. As we see it at the moment, um, first prize for the team finishing first will be 500 bucks. For the team that finishes second will be 200 bucks and 100 bucks get money back for the team that finishes third. And then 200 bucks for the team that gets the most kills. So something good, something good might come out of that. But I will let you guys know if that's something you guys would be interested in. We're also looking at making... Um, I'm going to start small with the merch. Maybe little thumb sleeves. Um, little um, mouse pads maybe. Um, screen covers perhaps. Just little cool stuff. Um, that, that might help us raise some funds. Um, and yeah. Looking forward to making this something big. We will also be looking at other games, COD Mobile. I've asked some um, people on my room what other games they play. As um, the, the company grows and um, the resources start coming in, we will do other platforms as well. We start exploring some other platforms, other games, etc., etc. Um, but that will all come with time. I'm not a very good gamer but I'm an interested gamer. But yeah, we will see where it goes. Um, they're just some of the ideas. I was actually planning on making the announcement last night, but that didn't work out as I planned. So I'm doing it now. Yeah, thumb sleeves on? Uh, depends. Um, they're about, I've seen anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks. I have a good contact. I have a, a proper contact for some triggers. We might do some of that. I want bronze pool. I want the bronze pool gaming logo on. Somebody's busy designing me uh, my own custom bull that I will use for the company. The other company is bronze bull enterprises. But that will be for something that I think that will be especially for the merch. And um, the bronze bull gaming will be focused solely on gaming and streaming and that sort of revenue, hosting rooms and that kind of stuff. And as I said in the previous room, I will still yes, I will still stream your rooms for you for, for free. That I do only for free and for donations if you guys are so inclined. I will never charge you guys to, to, to stream a room for you. That is not what I want to do. We will make our, our um, revenue another way. Tariq, yes. I use Johnson's baby powder, my bro. I use the baby powder. But I play six finger because I have a trigger control with four. So I use six fingers. So it's my two thumbs that are my big problem. Unless, of course, you guys want to pay me to stream your rooms. <laughs> but I will never ask that. I've also got a, a thing where I can advertise on my page for businesses. If you're a business owner, contact me privately about that. We already have one sponsor on board. A second one is about to come on board. Where we will um, advertise your business on our room, on our page. And you can always claim that as a um, deduct, as a tax deductible later on. But we'll talk about that later. We are off and ready to fight. Let's have a look. Oh 
bronze bull David Tauri Tariq, bronze bull David Tauri, there's no Johnsons, everything now is bronze bull. You'll buy bronze bull coffee, you'll buy bronze bull tea, you'll bronze bull all over the show. Solid round number of 50 people in here. Joe the Wolf. For the most part, we've got full teams all round. So I don't see any deduction happening here. Maybe team 15. Perhaps. Guys, everybody watching, please. I'm going to be irritating about this. Please remember to follow Bronze Bull Gaming. I love you guys forever and always and always and ever. My style is a bit different than other streamers. I like to make jokes. I like to mess around. <laughs> Sorry. Silly. Kretchas, Koroka, Villa, Mount Kresnik, Povozo, Cement Factory, Castle, Vol Volnova, Hot Springs, and Kantra. Kantra. That guy is a real Kantra. Alright, let's see where the teams jump. Not a lot of people. 50 in the lobby. Who will win? Place your bets now. Place your bets. Bronze Bull betting. Open for business. Except don't give me money for betting. Please. That's a belief. Team 16 and Team 8 seem to be heading towards Villa, although now they seem to be splitting up or they're going to Karelka. We will start off by Team 11. Toxic Wolves, Alpha, Monster Key, DR Sniper, Snipes. They are going with Team 4, the winners from the previous round. Young Thundercats, let's see who wins. Who takes this? Hello guys, thank you so much for watching. 15 people watching already. I am going to pay attention to the fights now. Alpha is punching air, hurting himself, falling. But let's see. Get a gun, get a gun, get a gun, get a better 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 gun. Let's just see how far team. No, no. Team 4 is quite a enki. Uh, um, they're quite an enki, weg, so they say in Afrikaans. God Pablo has taken down Schwab. Let's go to God Gaming. So I'm a straight. Bloodseek is in trouble early. The God Pablo has gotten Schwab. We've got Mula and Tevin left. Let's just see where these people are positioned. Seven. Mullah is going for the revive. God Ryzen and God Kaido pushing. Rekt is with him. Seven going round. Round and round and round he goes. Where will he do the shooting? Where will he do the shooting? We've got all three of Team 16 right behind this little wall. Whereas Ryzen is pushing from the back. Seven is in a bit of trouble. Oh, wow! Nice molly there from Tevin. Pushing them off a little bit, giving himself some breathing room. Ryzen is about to run into Shuab and Mula. Mula has been revived. Let's see. There goes Godrek. The fire has been blessed. Come on, Skyke. Wrecked Kaido Pablo about to join Ryzen. To our left flank, whereas Shuab, Mula, and Tevin have formed up somewhat. Are they going on a, to go on a retreat? No, I don't think so. Let's have a look. All in the same house, yeah? Let's go see, check in here by our friends from the Bloodseekers. Somebody. We've got Schwab. Oh, they are going on a slight retreat. Although Tevin down here is about to run into Ryzen. Nope. Does the smart thing goes out the back window. 
much like you used to do when you visit your girlfriend after hours. I wouldn't know about that. So let's see. We have we had one knock. We had, no, have not had any kills yet. This lobby is small, as I say, but dangerous. It's not called lobby A for nothing. And remember, from this 15, 16 teams only, three are getting relegated for next season. So there's absolutely no, no scope for failure. I think that's why these teams are playing it so cautiously. Usually you'd see gunfights galore, but in this tournament, survival gets rewarded. Yeah, team A doing the smart thing, you're going on a bit of a of a pushback. The whole the rest of the clan of the clan teams are rather far apart. Um, God Ryzen has been taken out by a bomb. Red zone. So they will get the revive there on him. I don't think Team 8 is, a, is much of an issue. Oh, there we go. They've seen this. They've seen that one of Team 16's guys was hit by the bomb. So now they smell blood because now they know it's 3 on 3. So now the blood seekers are going to push. Let's see what happens. Are they going to get the revive on Ryzen in on time? They were busy running away, not running away, but retreating until they saw. That's excellent, excellent um, wherewithal, though, to know that those are the guys that's in front of you still. I know one of them got knocked, but they still knew. That was excellent. Keeping an eye on the kill feed, I'm really, really impressed. Now, let's see what they do here. They have spread out a bit as team eight. Let's see what Tevin decides to do here. Let's see. Run, run, run if you can, little man. Hide your head in the sand, little man. I think as team has got gaming left. Nope, they've swapped positions. Not much happening at this point. So let's talk about something. Earlier today I asked the guys what is your favorite gun that nobody else seems to like much. So go on. Let us know what's your favorite gun that nobody else seems to use in the game. Mine is a PP Bison. Mine is the PP Bison and the Scar L. I love the Scar L. I actually take the Scar L before the before I take the um, M416. But it's, except if I don't have a sniper, but I don't snipe much. In any case, let's go a bit closer. See if there's Team Three in circle, Team One in circle, Team Seven in circle, Team Five are in circle. Team 4 about to make the rotation in. Team 4 needs him to rotate in. Team 16 is about to rotate in, as is Team 18. Team 10, Team 9, Team 15. And Team 6 are quite far from circle. I think Team 6 and Team 15 might be quite close to each other. Let's see, uh, my old clan, the Average Bureau, now known as the Nuclear Rebels. If you remember, we did their room yesterday. Their new name in Strange Celebration. So we've got the Fuzzy Gamsters of Team 15 and the Nuclear Rebels of Team 6 around here. No, no, Tyler, pick up Reddit, come on. Go pick up your leader. Follow the leader, leader, leader. Go fetch Tyson Fury. Or oh, is it Helsing? No, Tyson isn't in here. It's Helsing. Fucking Axe, Speedy Girl, Artie. The females are about to come and shoot for you. You better look out. Gambit, up on this hill. I think he sees the, the girls from the Fuzzy Gangsters. I think he sees them. Other way, gang. Yeah, but. They are rooting for you. Your Uber has arrived, son. I think he's relaying the information to them now that there is 
the squad in front of them. Let's see if they chase them. DBS. Mark, you th you, uh, you, people will think you're joking, bro. I sometimes take a shotgun with me in, as a secondary into the game. That thing, not even just a DBS, a normal shotgun, pump action. I especially like the double barrel. That thing shoots right through level 3 armor, bro. One shot. If you're quick with it, bah! Knock them. I knocked in a guy um, in one of the um, lobbies the other day. Um, and he said to me, how the hell did you do that? Um, Trickster has taken out someone there. Let's go towards them. Trickster has done some damage. Let's see who they're fighting. They're fighting team 14. I, that thing, if you're quick with it, Drew, that thing shoots. Pah! Fragile Abyss is down. That's who's down. Um, Trickster got some on um, the Dark Abyss. Fragile Abyss is down. Now let's see what Trickster does here. Going on a bit of a retreat. Keep trying to get some higher ground, I'm sure. Yep, exactly. Tell you this, he's got the right gear. I think they found a flag on here. He's got the right gear for a um, for the candy. Tell you that much. Let's see. Here. Nobody's down yet. Fragile Abyss, I believe, will get revived. Yep, he has got a revive. Groot on doing some good work there. Solomon's the KOC Tatenda are pushing. Panic Distress is also up and healthy-ish again. Let's see what Solomon does here. Gambit has taken down SR Cyan. Let's go and see what Gambit has done. Gambit, what have you done, son? They are fighting Sin's Rage. Car 98 in hand. Shot again, Gambit. Oof. Close, 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 close. Let's just quickly see how far they are up on that hill. We've got Crate down and Cyan down. We've got Sin's Cobra. Reddit pushing. And Tammy May Street for Sin's Rage. Let's see Gambit. Shots going in. Car 98. Six times scope. Or eight times scope. Can't, can't say eight times. He's gone on there. Trickster has taken out Fragile Abyss once again. Second time Fragile Abyss is down. No, no one has died yet. There's been plenty of knocks, but no one dead. I think the teams are scared to push because they know what's at stake here. Um, Andri, uh, DBS is an automatic shotgun. You get it in a crate. It shoots about 13 rounds, 14 rounds in a, in a clip. Doof, 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 doof. Basically a gas-powered automatic shotgun. Uh, like, take the S12K um, and think of it times 50 in power. Trickster has taken on Dark Diverge and now we're starting to get some kills. Tenda has taken on Grothond. So I think that's it for the Dark Abyss. No, not yet. The Dark Abyss is still in it. Fragile Abyss is back up. Panic Distress. No, there goes Dark Diverge. She's out. Fragile Abyss has been taken out. Um, is that it for them? Yes. But now Team 9 is also around. Oh, team 10. Team 10 also made their way down here. That is TTB, Yaiti, Fats, Jane and CJ from the Titty Bros. They are about to run into some more trouble. Solomon's ah, he sees the trouble. Solo has seen the trouble. He was about to run up those stairs. Naughty, naughty. In to see na di moeilijk eet. There we go. Level 2 helmet. To see na di moeilijk eet. But Fats right in front of him. Is he going to shoot? I think he is. Fats the... Oh! Yati has taken on Solomonster with a brilliant shot. Car 98 right in the chest, bro. What a shot by Yati. Let's go see where they are in comparison. Got CJ here on the roof. Fats as well. In goes the molly. Where's the rest of your teammates? You've got Trickster and Sila. Sila has taken on CJ on the roof. Fat is also down. So high risk, high reward, I guess. 
Solomon's there has been revived. The tent are doing good work there. Now, Yati and Jay need to do something here. They, it's imperative they <coughs> revive at least Fats or CJ. Joe the Wolf, meanwhile, has taken on JB Fenter. The Tenda has taken out Fats, so that leaves two for TTB left. Sila is a bit damaged. Richie has taken on Dark Sniper. Dark Sniper is also down for the men, oh, for the um, Toxic Wolves. I'm, I apologize. Richie has finished off Dark Sniper. Into the house they go. Carnage adamant that they are going to fi finish TTB off here. Lala has taken down Richie. Richie is finished. Solomon's are going in. Let's go in the house, see what happens. Trickster going up. TTB Jane is out. Is that it for them? No, one more left. Still got Yati left. Let's see. All four of them of um, Carnage Esports is in the house. And Joe the Wolf has taken on John Andre. Also taken on Joe, um, Fenter. Marshmallow has taken on Joe the Wolf for playing and privilege and finished him off for the UP. What's coming in? Oh, now we have another team coming in here. Who's this? Sila is down. Yati has taken on Trickster as well. Trickster and Sila down. So we've got the Tenda and Solomon to left. Team 8 has also made a nuisance of themselves. Yati has also taken out the Tenda. So Yati here has taken down 3 of KOC. Lala has taken on JP Fenter. JP Fenter is now out. Solomon said and Trickster badly hurt the Tenda as well. Trickster is out. Jean Andre. Oh, who's this? Team 8 has done very well here. Yeah. AB. No. BS. Moolah 7. Was it Team 6? <whistles> Bru? It can't be Team 6. They have come in here with a third party of no taking out. Carnage Esports. Carnage Esports, Solomon's a trickster, Tatenda out. Team 6 at the right place at the right time. Or was that Team 8 that did that damage? I'm not sure. Somebody did some really good damage there for you. Sure. Anyway. Guys, please um, remember to go on my page and follow Bronzeville Gaming. Please help me help us get to a thousand likes and follows before the end of this league in two, three weeks time. Share this to all your friends. If you like what I do, if you like my style, please suggest it to them. I will, am available for bookings to, to, to stream your custom rooms, your special custom rooms that you have for your camp. If I have, um, if I have it in my schedule, I will stream them for you. Um, free of charge, of course. And then also, um, I'll assume them free of charge and also remember um, there is two donation links PayPal and Streamlabs for the Bronze Pool P2Y Limited um, company if you are so inclined to, to do that for us we would really appreciate it but for the moment just the likes and the shares is all we really need let's go have a look elsewhere on the map we are going to see some fighting Team 4 still need to rotate in as does Team, so team 16 is in God game just about to rotate in Team 8 about to run into Team 4 which is TW. I think they have seen that. Let's see what they do here. Mula with a G36C and a M24. Team 8 took them out. Yeah, that's what I thought. Blood Seekers. Yeah, but you're right. It's difficult for me um, to distinguish between red and pink. Too. It was a really good job though. I'm really impressed by um, by the blood seekers and the way they think about the game. Bro. Really, really very good. And I know that I'm not as well known as the other streamers that you guys might be used to. But we try. And also, as I mentioned, remember, um, Abacad is here, Abacad is here now. Um, they do rooms for the Young Thundercats every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So send him a message. Support them. They have fun rooms all over, all the time. They're one of our biggest supporters. So check them out and support them as well. 
I do stream their room for them from time to time as well, if I have the time to do it. I sometimes play in them myself, so if you want to shoot the bronze ball, that's where you need to be. This game has gone slow, but in a, it's a good slow. These people are afraid. Tammy Maestri has taken on God wrecked. Let's go there. People are afraid because now with so little teams left, um, getting relegated is a real, real issue now. Great, that's taken on God Pablo. So that's two down for, for, for the G.O.D. at the moment. We've got Ryzen and Kaido left. Since Cobra is in the same house as Ryzen, Team 6 also coming this way now. Pablo and Rekt are still down. Pablo is getting badly hurt. Ryzen has taken on Sins Cobra, so that's one back. That's, they got one back for Team 16. One for Team 18 down. That's it. Pablo is out. God, Ryzen is out. So that leaves only Kaido. He seems to still be up. Ryzen has been thirsted. Kaido has gotten some mule on, but that's it. No, all of them out. Nice work there by Sins Rage. But now here comes Team 6. I can't yeah. believe that who started me. There's people on all chat. I heard that. Since Cobra was on all chat. Mark, if you're there, please just make a note. Or um, Abu, whoever, just make a note for me. Since Cobra was on all chat, please. Not a big issue. He stopped. Really not the biggest issue in the world at this point. Um, team 11. Hey, I'm so fucking strong. Since Cobra, uh, can somebody just go in the room and tell Since Cobra, I know he's in there. Just tell him to get off all chat, please, man. Team 11, Team 8, and Team 4 all around you. If anybody is in my lobby A WhatsApp group, please just go tell Sins Cobra to get off all chat. Please. And I know it's him because he's the only one that's dead. And that's how I know. Because it's the only one we can hear. We've got the Young Thundercats, the winner from Room 1, against the Bloodseekers and the Toxic Wolves. This, this promises to be a good fight. Three from BS, four from YT, and two from, and four, no, I, I take that back, and four from the Toxic Wolf. So the three is sandwiched in between the two fours. Let's see what happens. Teams are really scared of getting killed and losing rank points here. It's so fascinating to me. Other people find this boring, I find it so fascinating. And then when the guns do open, this is what happens. YT Smithy has been taken out by Tevin. Smithy is down. Is the, are they going to go for the thirst? Will he manage to get some art cover? Maybe Buxy can come and revive him. Bux is on the roof making a jump. He's going towards Smithy. Let's see if he gets that revive on. Lala has taken out AB Alcine. Lala has taken out Reddit. For the men of Mayhem. Oof. Oof. Luxie did get the revive on, but he is on like his last hit point. Luetketi has taken down Gambit. The men of Mayhem doing some good damage. Another nade coming in. Oh! Luxie getting hit again. Smithy down again. Good nades coming in here. I'm really, really impressed by the Bloodseekers. Um, Mula has also taken out Poison. Here comes the Molly. Playzone has taken out Red Dead. Playzone has taken out Lala. So these guys fighting in the blue zone. This is what you get. Playzone has taken Gambit. Playzone has taken Alcine. Playzone has taken SR Crate. Lala is also dead. Tyler the Great has fought back for the Nuclear Rebels and taken out Luet Ketty. Poison needs a revive. Buxy, run, run. But now King Bear has pushed by himself. Crate has also been taken out, meanwhile. King Bear pushing BS by himself. I don't know if that's the best idea in the world, but you never know. He's a very good player. 
Um, team 11 also coming around here. Shots coming in. Team 11 now has started to fire on BS as well. I think King Bear has seen this and is retreating. So let's keep an eye on this. Now BS's attention needs to turn to Team 11. They have not taken out any of the Young Thundercats. Excellent teamwork there. TDW Snipes has taken out Tevin. Snipes with some good shots there. That's one left. Um, also, guys, remember the after party after this on Discord. If you need the Discord link, it is on my page. Otherwise, send me a, a WhatsApp. I'll play some lucky music. General Marlboro has taken out Red Dead. Red Dead is down. General Mboro has been taken down by SR Crate. Tammy Maestri has finished him off. General Mboro. Let's see here. Yeah. Team 11, what does Monster see? Goes for Nade. The Discord link is up. So if you want to come listen to some good old music after the game, let us know. I hope to see you there. Who have we got you? We've got Monster. And we've got Alpha. And in front of them, we've got BS. The teams are really reviving each other quite well tonight. King Bear is still a bit isolated here. Yeah? He's got Team 11 coming into the same house as he is now. In they come. Or the house right next door. In they come. I don't think they're aware of King Bear, but I think they, their focus now is on the Bloodseekers. Killmonger has, take, has finished off Reddit, and I think that will be it then. For, no, still not. We've still got Tyler the Great left as the new career. Shots coming in here. Cyan has taken out Killmonger. General Techno has taken out Speedy Girl. General Techno has finished off Speedy Girl. Cyan has taken out Killmonger. Killmonger is dead. I think now TW is going to fight YT. The Bloodseekers have backed off just a tad. For now. General Techno has taken an RT-25 for the Fuzzy Gangsters and Thirsted. Eh? Playzone has taken out Fokken Axe. Team Toxic Wolves pushing now. Pushing towards... Oof, this zone. Look at this zone. Look how close they are to the zone. Man, that's luck. Tevin is up on the roof. Now, the roles have switched. Now Team 11 is the one being sandwiched. Let's see how they clutch this. Going on a on a run around. King Bear has seen Alpha. It's firing. No shots. Snipes is down. Seven has taken down Snipes. Snipes is out. Getting some revenge for being knocked by Snipes earlier by taking him out completely. YT now the one content just watching this. Taking out RB Sniper in the process. King Bear has been taken out by Alpha. So shots all around. Now BS is the one watching. <laughs> As I say that, Monster has been taken out by Tevin. Smithy, Buxy and Poison need to come do something here. King Bear is out. King Bear is out. Schwab going on the roof. Let's see what Schwab does. We've got Team 5 also making their way here now. These teams are, are basically in zone. Let's see how far Team 5 is from this fight. General Techno and General Triple X all coming in here now. Smoke all around. Let's see what Buxy does here. Let's go to Buxy. What's the plan here, Bucks? After party! Team 18 is firmly in zone. That is Sin's Rage. Twelve people left. There goes the molly. Molly in. Is it going to cause any damage? Let's go see. No damage. TW Alpha has taken on BS Mula. So the Toxic Wolves fighting back here, even though Zone has started to push in. These teams now need to do something. The Zone is super small. Moolah, I don't think is going to make it, no. The zone is too bad. Let's go there by Alpha. See what Alpha does. The 
basically we have three left from team four two left from team two two left from team eight two left from team 11 two left from team 18. so nobody has got a full squad left anymore shots coming in let's go see Team 4 has taken control of that little house there. But here is the trouble. General Triple X against Sin's Rage. They're in the water. General Triple X is just chilling in this water here. Getting shot at. General Techno has taken our mace shoot. Now General Triple X will need to get out of the water. Maybe take out Cyan. Cyan shooting. Take out General Techno. So now that leaves Cyan and General Triple X. Let's see what happens. Shots coming in. Cyan goes down. Down goes Team 18. Now General Triple X will go for the revive on his buddy. If he can. No, he can't. It's been thirsted. So it's only General Triple X left. Let's go back. He seems just waiting it out. Will Young Thundercats win their second game of the night will team 11 the toxic wolves win or will it be the blood seekers will general techno from Esparta pull something out there and win it for them let's see well guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it all the support please remember to follow <laughs> team 11 has decided to push you up now and Tevin. Tevin right around there. Let's see. That's how close they are. Shots coming in. Tevin goes down. Alpha will thirst him. Yeah, Tevin has been thirsted. There's only Schwab left. Oh, Buxy has got a perfect spot here. Right by the zone. Let's see what happens. Shawab is a bit hurt. We've got Sniper and Alpha left for Team 11. Cautious, cautious. So that's what we want to do here. General T Triple X has taken out Smithy, so that's one more down for the Young Thundercats. The nade goes in from Buxy towards Shawab. It's only a smoke. Buxy moving ever so slightly with the uh, zone. Down goes Smithy. Buxy has taken on all of Team 11. And now goes on a run. He's not going to go for the revive. So we've got Buxy and Poison against Espada. And I don't think Triple X is going to make it. I don't think Triple X is going to make it. Down goes Buxy by the play zone. General Triple X is just healing, healing. And Espada gets it. Espada gets it. General Triple X with some beautiful strategy. Staying outside the zone. Just healing, 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 healing himself. And letting the zone take care of Young Thundercats. Excellent play there by General Triple X. Very, very impressed. So the winners, Espada with 5-6 kills. Second, the winners from the last game, Young Thundercats with 5 kills. Um, third, Toxic Wolves with 3 kills. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the stream with me. Um, I will see you guys again tomorrow. Remember, Lobby B. Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Also, after party on Discord if you are so inclined. Um, see you guys then. Godspeed.